hello everyone welcome to the rn tutorials now we are going to discuss about the uh, pressure about how to find out the pressure inside a droplet bubble and a liquid jet by analyzing the surface tension so first i want to take the liquid droplet which is of diameter d and the shape automatically sphere so we can find the pressure inside the drop by analyzing the surface tension on the drop so the drop means it is in the shape of the sphere so this is assume a liquid drop so on which external surface the surface tension acts okay so this surface tension causes the tensile force on this external surface which will be maximum at the middle edge section of the sphere and this uh, surface tension causes the enlarging of the or deformation of this drop so why it is not deforming and exactly in the shape of the sphere means certain opposite forces will be compensating the forces due to the surface tension so that opposite force s are due to the pressure acting inside the droplet so the pressure acts opposite to the surface tension p so whatever the forces are taking place due to the surface tension and the pressure by compensating these two that means by applying the equilibrium condition we can find the pressure inside the droplet so for that i want to take the cross sectional view exactly at the middle point so when you take the middle cross sectional shape for the sphere exactly on the edge the force due to surface tension acts in a particular direction and opposite to that the pressure force acts by making these two forces equal we can find the pressure so first i want to write the tensile force due to the surface tension uh, which is acting around the circumference so that means the length is equal to the circumference so surface tension formula is here force by length so the force due to surface tension can be equal to sigma into length so sigma into length is equal to here circumference so the formula becomes sigma into pi into d next i want to write the force due to pressure the pressure formula is force by area then force is equal to pressure into area so area of the circle is pi d square by 4 so p into pi d square by 4 is the force due to pressure for equilibrium condition we need to make the two equations equal so that means both forces are equal so again sigma into pi d is equal to p into pi d square by 4 so finally by making uh, cancel the two similar terms from left and right so we will get the equation as p is equal to 4 sigma by d which is the equation for the pressure which acts inside the liquid droplet okay so which uh, can be determined by knowing the surface tension which is constant for a particular fluid and by knowing the diameter of the drop we can find the pressure so similarly uh, we try to find the pressure inside a bubble so bubble is also in a shape of the sphere okay so when you take the bubble of particular diameter d so the bubble uh, will be in contact with air two times inside and outside so the surface tension will be also two times so the two times surface tension is compensated by the pressure so again force due to surface tension that is twice of the surface tension can be equal to the force due to pressure okay so first i want to write the uh, tensile force which is due to the surface tension which again acts around the circumference of the cut portion equal to two times the sigma into circumference why because it is twice uh, in contact with air so tensile force also becomes twice okay so two sigma into pi into d is the formula for force due to the surface tension similarly i want to write force due to pressure p into area p into pi d square by 4 again for equilibrium condition we need to make the two forces equal so write 2 sigma into pi d is equal to p into pi d square by 4 cancel the similar terms and p is equal to 8 sigma by d is the formula for finding the pressure inside here so bubble or a bubble when you know the surface tension of a particular fluid and the diameter of that bubble similarly i want to find the pressure inside the liquid z a z of liquid which is coming from a nozzle uh, the shape of the z is in cylindrical shape as we know and it can have certain diameter d and for finding the uh, pressure i want to assume of a particular length of the z by assume by taking a particular length z we can find out the pressure inside the z again by analyzing the surface tension so i have assumed a liquid z of a length l having a diameter d so it will be the external surface uh, cylindrical surface will be in contact with air so surface tension acts along the uh, around the surface so automatically the maximum surface tension takes place at the edge that is the middle cross-sectional plane 
so that's why i have taken the half cross sectional view for the cylinder as we have taken for the sphere so on the edge of the cylindrical jet the force due to surface tension acts so in this case i want to write the tensile force due to surface tension acting along the edge of the cut portion e is again the formula is sigma into length how much the length it is covering means here on these two edges the surface tension is acting means this is one l this is an l so becomes 2l so the length it is covering is equal to two times the length of the liquid z that is the height of the liquid z we have assumed so automatically force due to surface tension is equal to sigma into 2 into l okay so next i want to write same pressure force due to sorry force due to pressure pressure into area and p into l into d why l into d means uh, the cut portion shape is in a shape of the rectangle so in that we know the diameter and we have assumed the length as l so the rectangle area is l into d so p into area means p into l into d which is the force due to pressure okay like this so now for equilibrium condition uh, again we need to make the two forces become equal okay sigma into 2 l is equal to p into l into d similarly l, l gets cancelled so finally p is equal to will be getting 2 sigma by d which is the equation for the pressure acts inside the liquid z of a particular length l of particular diameter d okay now by knowing again the sigma and the diameter of the z we can find the pressure act inside a particular liquid z so this is the way of finding the pressure inside the droplet bubble and z i hope you understand by analyzing the surface tension if you still have any doubts please feel free to give a comment to my video so that i'll try to clarify your doubts once again thanks for watching my video thank you all